Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video I'll be putting a truck horn in this Daihatsu Charade. Now, why would I need a truck horn in this car? The main reason I'm doing this is because the horn in it doesn't suit it at all. Have a listen. <coughs> So this is the horn that I'll be putting in the car. I think we need to find a more suitable location. Now I brought a kit to do this, so it should be very easy to do. The main challenge is to figure out where to put this horn, because it's pretty big. After having a look around, I think the best place to put it will be down here in front of the radiator. So just on this support here. Now this horn works by air blowing through it, and the kit came with this little electric motor that blows air. This shows us a positive and negative symbol on there, so that will help us wire it up correctly. If we wire it backwards, it will suck, literally. And we'll be powering it using the stock horn leads. So, let's begin our installation. I've got the horn in its spot. All I did was just glue it down. That should be enough. Now I need to get the electric motor installed. I've decided that I'm gonna mount the little motor behind the dash, just to keep it safe from any rain or debris under the bonnet. It would be nice if it stopped raining on me when I was doing this. And thanks to the power of editing, the storm's gone. Okay, now I've got some stuff out the way, I can give you a better view. I'm going to be putting this motor right about here. So instead of bolting it in, I've decided to go with zip ties. That's not going anywhere anyway. Okay, now that the horn and the little motor's in place, we have to connect the two. I'll be using the original horn wires just to keep things simple and the wiring neat. We just need to figure out which is positive and which is negative. And to do that, I'll be using a multimeter. So I've stuck a positive in one end and a negative in the other. This will help us determine what the polarity is. So I'll push down on the horn and see what the multimeter tells us. Okay, so that was giving us a negative reading, which means the black one is positive and the one the red one is in is a negative. So now we just have to make wires long enough to reach the motor. So here's this little connection I made for the end of this wire. I'll be plugging this into where the original horn wire is. So this can literally just plug into there. This means I don't have to cut into the factory harness and I keep my wiring neat. Now unfortunately this wire doesn't actually reach so I'll have to splice together another one to reach the little motor. So I've crimped those two wires together now I'll put this heat shrink over it and melt it with a heat gun. Now they're joined together I can continue running it to the little motor. Now to get the wire through the firewall I'll be pushing it through one of these holes here. And there it is there, behind the dash. Now I just have to connect this green wire to the positive. Just like last time I stripped the end of the wire, but this time I'm putting this connector on the end, as that's what's required for the back of the motor. Now it's connected. Time to do the same for the negative side. So both wires are done now. And now a quick test. Now we know it works, we can connect the air hose. So this air hose connects onto this. So using a heat gun, I'll soften the hose so it can go onto here easier. Now this end of the hose is connected, we can work on the other side. So for the air hose, I've tried to keep it as far away from the radiator as possible. I just don't want it getting too hot. So I've run it up the side. Then we come behind the battery, up the side here and through the hole. Just like the power wires, it comes down. Now all I have to do is connect that hose to that outlet. And it's done. Now all I have to do is put the glove box back in. Just like that. You can barely tell it's even there. Now for the after test. Here's the before. <coughs> and the after. <coughs> Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed watching it just as much as my neighbours did listening to it. Please consider liking and subscribing.